Hey guys, it's me Peaches and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, make sure you click like and subscribe. Today we're going to be talking about Autism Speaks and why many autistics in the community really don't like them. I don't know what I'm doing! So you've probably noticed that the autistic community has been speaking out against Autism Speaks and if you haven't, check out my Instagram page because I talk a lot about how the autistic community does not like Autism Speaks and I follow and share a lot of content from other autistic advocates who talk about the same thing. So why though? Why do autistics have such a disdain for the giant charity that is supposed to be helping autistics? Well, in order for you to understand that, you kind of need to understand the history of Autism Speaks. In 2005, Bob Wright and his wife Suzanne founded Autism Speaks. Bob Wright was the vice chairman in, of General Electric and the CEO and chairman of NBC Universal. So he's a very, very rich man, and they funded Autism Speaks to find a cure for their autistic grandson. Katie Wright, the daughter of Bob and Suzanne Wright, believed vaccines caused her son's autism, and while Autism Speaks now says on its website that vaccines do not cause autism, it supported research attempting to link vaccines to autism for years, even after research came out debunking this link. So, they poured money and research into looking for a link between vaccines and autism, even though there is already proof that there is no link between vaccines and autism. So Autism Speaks was originally set on finding a cure for autism and ways to prevent it. The original mission statement called autism a global health crisis. Let me read it for you now. <clears throat> At Autism Speaks, our goal is to change the future for all who struggle with an autism spectrum disorder. We are dedicated to funding global biomedical research into the causes, prevention, treatments, and a possible cure for autism. We strive to raise public awareness about autism and its effects on individuals, families, and society. And we work to bring hope to all who deal with the hardships of this disorder. We are committed to raising the funds necessary to support these goals. Autism Speak aims to bring the autism community together in one strong voice to urge the government and private sector to listen to our concerns and take action to address this urgent global health crisis. It is our firm belief that working together, we will find the missing pieces of the puzzle. Isn't that just wonderful? Doesn't it give you warm fuzzies to hear, right? We are a global health crisis. Wow. Autism is not a disease, and there is no cure, but Autism Speaks was so set on trying to find a cure that they merged with the Autism Coalition for Research in Education in 2005 and the National Alliance for Autism Research in early 2006, and of course they also merged with Cure Autism Now in 2007. You see, all three of these organizations support research into causes, treatment, cures, and prevention of autism. Yay. So they were really set on trying to eradicate autism by finding a cure or a prevention for it, which honestly, this is modern eugenics here. Let's let's just face the facts. There is no cure for autism, and if you were to try to cure us, then you're getting rid of us when we're not a disease or anything, just a different neurotype. And it's very frustrating. I mean, would you want to be supportive of a group who wants to completely erase you from existence? Uh, I wouldn't. <laughs> so while Autism Speaks was pouring money into this wild goose chase for a cure, they also started to pour some money into ads and short films. One of them being the infamous short film, I Am Autism. I Am Autism was a short film directed by the same guy who directed Prisoner of Azkaban and the film interpretation of Rodol's book Witches. The short film demonizes autism and paints a very scary and negative view of it. The ad had a narrator speaking as autism, saying things like, I work faster than pediatric AIDS, cancer, and diabetes combined, and if you're happily married, I'll make sure that your marriage fails. Here's another disturbing quote from the film. I will fight to take away your hope. 
I will plot to rob you of your children and your dreams. I will make sure that every day you wake up, you will cry. Now, the narrator in the actual short film says this in a far scarier and more grim tone than what I am capable of, but it's very obvious that Autism Speaks is trying to scare parents, and I feel like that's a very cheap way to get them to give you their money. And autism isn't a disease, and it's not scary. It's not something you should be afraid of because it's just another neurotype. Yeah, we have our own challenges because we live in a world that isn't made for us, but that doesn't mean it's something people should be afraid of, and it definitely doesn't deserve to be painted in this light. Autism Speaks also sponsored another video called Autism Every Day in 2006. In it, a former executive vice president of Autism Speaks, Allison Singer, talks about how she contemplated driving off a cliff with her autistic daughter. What she says stopped her was remembering that she had a normal child at home. This is very messed up for obvious reasons, and the fact that having a normal child is what stopped her is also very messed up. She should have the same amount of love for her, her autistic daughter as she does her other child, and there should never have been even a thought to drive off a bridge. This is wrong, and the fact that people sympathize with parents who do this and actually follow through is really upsetting and it is a real world problem. If you want to learn more about that and how it's wrong and how just how common it is, check out my Disability Day of Mourning video. So Autism Speaks should have known better, right? These two videos were outright awful for obvious reasons and yet they still put them out. It's almost like they're more concerned about scaring people into giving them their money than actually helping autistic people. And I feel like that is most definitely the case. Hey guys, I know this video came out really late and I'm really sorry about that. Life just kind of happened and I wasn't able to keep up with the editing and everything to get it out on time. So you guys will not be getting a video this upcoming Monday but the Monday after. Don't worry though, I'm still doing Instagram live streams every other Saturday, so I'll be seeing you guys next weekend. And I look forward to <laughs> being able to make more videos in the future, as well as interacting with you guys, my audience. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Is this working?